For some Eagles fans, the loss was a win. They were able to see the team in action for the first time this season. Eyewitness News reporter Trey Doe is live at Lincoln Financial Field with what fans are saying about the game. Trey. Well, hey, Don, fans I spoke to today said they hoped that their presence inside the stadium would help the team turn their dismal season around. Now, the Eagles got close in the end, but they still fell short. A quiet and much smaller crowd of Eagles fans left the link Sunday afternoon after the team's 30 to 28 loss to the Baltimore Ravens. It was actually pretty eerie being in there with not That's a full weird. stadium. It was weird. Yeah. Yeah, totally weird. Um, the energy is different. Only around 5,500 to 6,000 people were allowed to purchase tickets because of the city's COVID-19 restrictions on outdoor events. The most diehard Birds fans say it was important for them to be there for the first home game with fans this season, win or lose. It's always been our tradition to be here, and we feel like now more than ever, the Eagles need support. Even though it's been a rough season, it's still the first game that fans are allowed to be back in. So as rough as it is, I'm sure they appreciate having fans there cheering, whether it's good or bad. Inside the stadium, fans were required to wear masks and were seated with those in their groups at least six feet apart from other groups. Even though we were spread apart, like you're like air high-fiving people, you're still getting excited. Yeah, it is pretty exciting still. You know, everybody's into it, and as long as you have your mask on, nobody's really worried about, yeah. um, you know, doing too much or anything. So it's still a good time. Though there wasn't a whole lot to cheer about as the Eagles were blown out in the first half. A fourth quarter comeback brought some excitement to the stands, but in the end, it wasn't enough. We're just not a good team right now. Our offensive line is terrible. I love Carson Wentz, so I can't talk bad about him, but you don't, I mean, you don't have the receivers, so there's not too much he can do. Now, despite the loss and a frustrating season so far, people I spoke to say they would absolutely tend, attend this Thursday's home game against the New York Giants. But for now, we're live outside of Lincoln Financial Field. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News.